U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy joins us now. Good morning, Dr. Murthy. Uh, I want to ask you that given how rare these blood clots are, six cases out of some seven million doses administered so far, and the possibility that this could significantly increase vaccine hesitancy, is there a risk that this pause is an overreaction? Well, good morning. It's good to be with you today. And you're right that these cases are rare. At this moment, we have six cases out of over 7 million doses administered. But what's very important is safety and instilling trust in the American public. And people need to know that the system is working for them, that we're being vigilant. And even though this wasn't an easy decision, it was the right decision to create, put a pause on administration of the vaccine and to give us a chance to do two things. One is investigate whether there is, in fact, a link between the vaccine and the six cases of dangerous blood clots. And second, to give us a chance to talk to the medical community and to help them understand what we are looking for uh, and to also help understand how to treat uh, this, uh, these blood clots if they do in fact arise. So what's your, what's your message to, to people who may feel after this news even more hesitant to get a vaccine? <laughs> Well, here's what I would say. I recall, remember that, first of all, these are rare events. Uh, we are talking about six out of over 7 million uh, doses of the vaccine administered. Second, just remember this as well. If you received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, or if a family member of yours received a vaccine, your likelihood of developing blood clots, uh, or these, especially these dangerous blood clots, is extremely rare. And you will likely be OK, just like the millions of others of people who've had the vaccine. And finally, a, a really important message to send to everyone, which is that we are talking about one of the three vaccines offered here in the US. The vast majority of people, over 110 million, have received the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. And we still feel very confident about those vaccines. So I believe we are still on track to ensure we are vaccinating the country. I think we will find out within days what the analysis is of this, uh, you know, of this pause. And then we will be able to continue forward with our vaccination campaign. Dr. Murthy, something keeps popping up on your screen. We want the viewers to know we see it, too. We don't know what the hell it is. Everything is safe. Everything is good. But there's <laughs> something that looks like a dog or something popping up around you. But all is good. I'll, but I'll show you. Who it is. It's, it's my little boy. Oh. <laughs> oh. So uh, sorry. Sweetheart. Well, at least at least we can explain. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. Good morning to your son. Good morning. <laughs> but I want to go back to Anthony's, Anthony's question for a second. If this is rare and if you still feel that it's safe, why have the pause? Because all this does is give people who were hesitant to take the vaccine anyway. See, see, I told you they rushed it. It's not safe. And I know all the experts saying, don't worry, don't worry. It's all good. This is still very, very frightening. And I know you've answered this question, but people are still extremely nervous. Why pause it if you still think it's safe? Well, Gail, there are two reasons to pause. One is, again, to, to have a chance to do the actual investigation to see if there's a real link. And the second is to, to have that time to communicate with, people, with healthcare professionals about what to look for, but also how to treat this condition. See, Gail, what's different about these blood clots is they're not the average run-of-the-mill blood clot that we hear about all the time. These are an unusual type of clot that occurs when your levels of platelets or cells that help with clotting in the blood are actually low as well. And in that situation, you don't treat with the usual blood thinners, uh, like heparin, for example, that you typically give in the hospital. That requires a, actually a, a very different treatment. And uh, I mean, the fact that you give the conventional treatment, you can worsen the situation. So this is why we wanted to have a chance to communicate openly with people. Mm -hmm. But remember this, these pauses are actually common when new vaccines and drugs are rolled out. So this is not unusual. We're just doing the due diligence we need to do to make sure everything is safe so we can continue with our vaccination okay. efforts. We need to be reminded of that. And kudos to you. Uh, never even missing a beat with a son who clearly loves you who's climbing all over you. <laughs> Very smooth. Yeah, Dr. Mur Dr. Murthy, what's your son's name? Yes. So his name is Tejas. He's four years old, and, uh, and we're very close. And he loves his dad, clearly. Well, well, thanks to you both for joining us this morning, Dr. We, Vivek Murthy. Thank you so much. We appreciate it, guys.